What up YouTube? Joe Kaiser back again with another video. Today, battery packs are the subject. Now a viewer named Richard sent me a couple battery packs out of his M1 skateboard. He's got two different versions and he had these brand new battery packs sitting. They sat for six months and they're now completely dead. The purpose of him sending these packs is to see if I could revive them. I'm going to make a couple videos out of it. That's a whole other video though. Before I get to that point, what I want to do is I want to dissect this battery pack, find out what's inside. How do these work? What's in here besides battery? That's what we're going to look at today. So according to this package, we have a 10S 2P battery pack. In case you guys don't know, the 10, that stands for how many batteries are in a series. So how many are end to end? If you have one battery that's 3.7 volts and you connect it end to end 10 times, you're gonna take 3.7 times 10 and that's gonna give you 37 volts. So that's what we have here. We have 10 batteries wired end to end to create a 37 volt battery pack. It's pretty neat. The first two things that are very obviously and apparent on the pack or your power. Everybody knows that. That's where you plug it in your board to get your power. And this little wire here, most of the time, your extra little wire here, that's gonna be your balance wire. That's what's gonna help the charger keep all the batteries inside at an equal level balance so it works properly. You'll notice some battery packs, like the Evolve battery pack, has three that come off of it, I believe. No, it's got four that come off of it, I believe. Whole nother functionality. Don't worry about it. Evolve created that so it would be proprietary to their system. This way, if you need a new battery, you're gonna buy an Evolve battery pack because it's got the Evolve BMS in it. But let's go ahead and take this apart and let's see what's inside. All right, Richard is one of my YouTube eScape friends from New York, New York. And I'm gonna cut this open, we're gonna see what's inside. All right, if you ever have to open up your battery pack, consider the fact that there's gonna be things underneath that you cannot see. You have to be very, very careful opening these. I suggest pulling up a piece like this, getting it started, and then just ripping the rest if you're able to. Try not to get the razor blade in there when you can't see what's underneath. That might save you a lot of heartache. Been there, done that. So let's go ahead and peel this apart. This battery pack here is pretty common. I've seen these on eBay. I've seen them without the little balance wire. So I was saying to Richard, you know, those packs are pretty cheap on eBay. I could probably get one of those packs compared to this and might be able to wire something up so you can use the cheaper packs. I don't know, we'll see. Cause I gotta dissect this first and I really gotta see exactly what they got going on. Like I said, most of your battery packs are gonna have pretty much the same common things between them. Sometimes they're gonna be different so they can be more proprietary to that company. I guess it all depends. All right, let me finish opening this up. Prior to ever getting involved with electric skateboards, I had extensive history with uh, the batteries that are used in these battery packs. I owned a vape shop and I went through a lot of testing with a lot of different batteries. I actually got really deep down and into the root of how the batteries are made and all the different companies and I tried them all out. And I found a company in China that makes the absolute most wonderful, perfect battery ever. And I do plan on using those batteries to make some battery packs. One of the batteries that they do make and they're an authorized manufacturer of is LG. So they are a pretty good manufacturer. As you can see here, here's my vape with the back off of it. And it takes three cells just like this. These are called 18650 size batteries. You know, like you have a double A and you have a triple A or you have a D or you have a C. That's the adjective used to describe that size battery. This size battery 
is 18650. That's what they call it. As soon as I get the shrink wrap off the battery, the first thing I notice is it's got a bunch of 18650 batteries in it. And on top, it's got this protective covering. It's got the protective covering on both ends and actually in between the batteries as well. That's to prevent anything poking the battery, say a metal object, getting in there and then shorting it out because that could easily happen. I have had that happen with battery packs before that I had open. So be very, very careful about where you're working with this at, what's around, what you could possibly touch this with. Not too long ago, I just got finished putting together a 40 cell battery pack and I shorted it out because I was being very stupid and I was being very careless. The first obvious thing you're gonna see when you're inside your battery pack are the cells. 18650 cells. As soon as I opened it up, I noticed that these are your typical Samsung ICR batteries. Each each type of different uh, 18650 battery had there, there's all different types. ICR is the type of battery this is. Basically, that refers to the level of protection each individual cell has. Something to that effect. I don't want to get too much into that because that's not what this video is about. Also, you see a little piece of electronics. This piece of electronics is called the BMS. It's a battery management system. What this does is it allows the battery to charge and operate within a safe area for this battery, either the cell or the pack. This BMS is essentially the brains of this battery pack. It's gonna monitor the voltage. It could monitor the temperature, they all don't. It monitors the SOC and the DOD. SOC being the state of the charge and the DOD being the depth of the charge. What's very important to me is the actual current output of the BMS different motors, different ESC or VS. Different ESCs or vests is gonna require different outputs. The BMS is gonna take care of that. If you have regenerative braking on your electric skateboard, meaning when you hit the brakes and it recharges your battery pack, that's gonna be taken care of as well through the BMS. Basically, all your communications is done through this serial port here. Each section of the battery is wired up through this serial port, and this is gonna compute and calculate everything, and it's gonna allow this pack to do exactly what you need this pack to do. Some BMSs also it come equipped with a switch. A lot of times you can actually install your own switch on the BMS. It, it, it all depends on the configuration you set up uh, in your DIY skateboard. Sometimes the boards that you already buy, the switches are on the BMS. It, like I said, it, it, it all depends about the overall engineering, how it was, went about. I personally like the switch on a BMS if that's possible. A lot of times you're gonna pay a little bit more money for that feature. When it comes to BMSs, one thing I did find, you get what you pay for. You definitely get what you pay for. One of the very most important aspects of the BMS is the fact that it can make sure that you're not wasting energy. It can utilize the energy from the pack and send it to your electronics and it can maintain that in a proper state. That's about all I have for this video. Just wanted to dive into this battery pack and calm all the curious Georges down and let them know what's going on in here. Guys, thanks for watching. If you have any experience with these batteries or if there's anything you think that I missed and would be good information, comment below. Thanks for watching. Joe Kaiser, over and out, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.